six animals that could defeat a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons or Komodo monitors are the largest, heaviest lizards in the world and one of the few with a venomous bite. These stealthy, powerful hunters rely on their sense of smell to detect food, using their long forked tongues to sample the air. They can spend hours waiting for a sizable meal to wander within range before launching a deadly attack with their large, curved, and serrated teeth. These wild dragons typically weigh about 154 pounds, 70 kilograms, but the largest verified specimen reached a length of 10.3 feet, 3.13 meters, and weighed 366 pounds, 166 kilograms. As a result of their size, these lizards are apex predators, dominating the ecosystems in which they live. But what do you think happens when the biggest lizard in the world meets other apex predators from other environments? Let's see what animals can defeat a Komodo dragon in a fight. Number 6. Crocodile Crocodiles are, without doubt, the most dangerous predator on planet Earth. Animals only survive crocodile attacks if they are powerful enough to disrupt the attack, or if they are fast enough to get the jump on the croc first, or if the crocodile is attacking an animal too large for it to overpower. Assuming a full-grown Nile or saltwater crocodile, the Komodo dragon fails on all fronts. Those smaller crocodile species are likely to struggle more in the conflict. A saltwater crocodile can weigh one ton or more, then six times the weight of the dragon. This size difference means that should the dragon find itself in the crocodile's crosshairs, it would be essentially powerless to escape. The Komodo dragon, in short, would be death rolled and drowned before it even knew what hit it. Crocodilians are also apparently largely immune to snake venom, making it unlikely that the venomous bite of a Komodo dragon would do it much harm. They also have aggressive immune systems that attack bacteria as soon as it is discovered by the body, meaning that the bacteria Komodo dragons pack are not likely to do much either. Number 5. Tiger Probably, if a tiger fought with a Komodo dragon, both would die. Komodo dragons are ambush hunters. They bite their prey viciously, release, and settle back for a bask. Tigers and bush prey from behind try to break the spine with one bite and bite until the prey stops fighting. If the tiger jumps on a Komodo dragon, it will have problems with its armored neck. But in the end, the dragon will die if the Komodo dragon attacks first and manages to bite the tiger. The tiger will surely kill the dragon. Tigers are known to kill much larger crocodiles, so they won't have a problem with the Komodo dragon. However, the dragon's venom acts slowly, and it is possible that in a few hours, the tiger will be dead. Number 4. Anaconda Large anacondas and other large boas have been known to prey on crocodilians, which are similar in size and strength to a Komodo. A truly huge anaconda could probably kill and eat a Komodo. A huge Komodo could probably kill and eat a medium-sized anaconda. The giant snake, after thousands if not millions of years of practice, knows how to kill crocodiles while avoiding those powerful jaws. The same method should work on a big lizard. Anacondas can slay the dragon by squeezing it until it stifles and kills it. The squeezing of the Komodo dragon may cause internal bleeding. The whole Komodo dragon would then be eaten at once by the anaconda. Komodo loses the battle with the anaconda, therefore. Of course, the Komodo dragon may attack first using its sharp claws and its venomous bite. I don't think he could kill the anaconda so fast. Got to go with the anaconda on this one. It would be far too large and powerful for the dragon. Number 3. Bear Well, the bear will kill the dragon. A male grizzly can weigh up to around 900 pounds, 408 kilograms. Komodo dragons peak at about one half to less than a quarter of that weight. Being much more massive gives the bear more raw power and leverage. The bear will likely be able to tear the lizard apart through simple overwhelming force. 
Now, this isn't to imply the dragon isn't dangerous to the bear. If it gets to bite the bear, the wound may become infected and the bear may die. The bear has a pretty effective defense in its long, thick fur and loose skin, but any bites that strike home would be debilitating and dangerous. I'm not sure how likely a dragon is to find flesh through the fur, but at the least, the bear still has vulnerable bits like the face to worry about. So, this ranges from a bear enjoying a lizard-shaped snack to a possible mutual kill and points in between. Number 2. Hippopotamus Hippos are more naturally aggressive than Komodo dragons which are more patient, opportunistic predators. Hippos can accelerate on land as fast as Komodos but reach higher top speeds, allowing the hippo to run down and trample the Komodo. Though Komodos do have a greater ability to turn corners more tightly, which would greatly help with its evasion abilities. Also, if the hippo got the first bite in, then there is quite a big possibility that the hippo would crush the entire anatomy of the dragon's body in half crushing its skull with a bite force of 2,000 pounds per square inch with ease, and the rest of its body. The hippo can open its jaws at a 180-degree angle, destroying everything in its path. A bull hippo can open its jaws up to 4 feet 1.2 meters. Number 1. Wolverine Like badgers, wolverines have long and sharp claws, strong jaws with considerable bite force, and anal glands to produce a stinky liquid to spray when needed. Wolverines can attack bigger animals in size and run them down if needed, like black bears, pumas, and wolves. Both of these animals are fast, and wolverines are more agile. Let's say the wolverine couldn't detect the dragon and jumped upon it and got bitten by it. The dragon has to endure the skunk smell and avoid all bite and claw attacks while trying to devour it all at once because we know that dragon venom takes a long time to affect. Thus, due to its aggressiveness, it is possible for the wolverine to win. If he doesn't kill the dragon, he still makes him leave somehow. And, and that's it for today's video. If you like today's content, please do like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell button to be updated on our future posts. This is Curious Navigator, hoping to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.